On the Regents exam you'll be taking in just a few short weeks, you're going to be responsible for understanding reproductive technology. An example of reproductive technology is selective breeding. Selective breeding is breeding in which humans choose the parent plants or parent animals based on certain desirable characteristics that they want to see in the next generation. This allows us to improve the efficiency of animals and plants that we breed. The animal behind me is a z-donk. It is a cross between a male zebra and a female donkey. When you cross two organisms that are not the same species, it's referred to as a hybrid. The hybrid animal that results from selective breeding, such as the z-donk, cannot reproduce on its own. It is sterile because it has an odd number of chromosomes. Unlike most hybrids that are created by humans, z-donks have been found to occur naturally in South Africa, where zebras and donkeys live in close proximity. In most cases, hybrids are produced to serve a function, such as crossing a horse and a donkey, you would get a mule, and a mule is a stronger, sturdier animal that can carry packs. Nearly all domestic animals, including horses, cats, dogs, farm animals, and most crop plants, have been produced by selective breeding. In terms of farm animals, such as chickens, they've been selectively bred for more than 100 years to produce more and more eggs. Cows have been selectively bred to increase milk production and to grow faster so their meat can end up in stores faster. For dogs, traits such as the speed of a greyhound, the courage of a German shepherd, and the cute pug nose of a bulldog have all come from selective breeding. In this case, the Z-donk was bred mostly for novelty. Other than his looks, he doesn't serve any special purpose in terms of domestic animals for man. While it is an advantage both to species and to humans to produce these desirable qualities, continuous inbreeding and selective breeding of particular genes runs the risk of losing some other genes from the gene pool altogether. This is irreversible. <laughs>